Oh, hi again. Welcome to my latest video. Well, this one shouldn't take long. I was just about to start working on my next step in building my super editing PC uh, using the Asus ProArt Creator uh, Z790 and a 14900K and a two M2 drives that are four terabyte each and 128 gig of memory on and on and on. And then I started looking at some of the news articles that are out there about the problems they're having with the 13th and 14th gen, the 900 series or the 13900K and the 14900K in terms of being degraded by misalignment of the configuration of the microcode and the motherboards that they're in. Now, what I did notice is that uh, there is some changes that have recently come out from just about all the manufacturers of these motherboards that are degrading the performance just a little bit, lowering the clock speeds, lowering the voltage and primarily that the CPU is being subjected to in order to limit that degradation. So what I want to do today is actually load the one that ASUS has for this motherboard onto it that will reduce the, the actual performance probably about 5% from what I see and then uh, at least it'll be safe and won't degrade. Not that Intel won't honor an RMA, they will from what I've heard, if you have one that you know, can be shown to have degraded, but there's gonna be a lot of back and forth. That's gonna take time, and I don't wanna be without my system, assuming I get it up and running you know, rather soon from this point, and then have to go ahead and RMA the, the CPU. I don't have another 14900K to swap it out with, so that would be an issue, right? Anyway, I'm going to put this particular update in that ASUS has, which is geared towards preventing that problem by lowering the performance. It's the 2402 revision for this particular motherboard. Like I said, the ASUS Creator 790 Pro Wi-Fi that this particular one happens to be. Uh, but they also have similar ones for other uh, motherboards that support the, uh, the 13th and the 14th gen CPUs. Then, in about a month from what I read in those articles, and I put the links down below of some of the articles I found most interesting, they should come out with a better one. As a matter of fact, I think it's already been released by Intel, according to one of the articles, that they're testing to make sure it's working okay with their motherboards. And then once they validated that, they're gonna release another BIOS update. Now, BIOS updates today are more than just a BIOS. They include a lot of other things, including some other microcode that the CPU has in it, uh, the motherboard, code that deals with the LEDs, for example, or also gets updated. So there's multiple components to it. That's why the updates now take so long. Now, I wanted to show this again because I want to reiterate some of the cautions that you should always follow that I believe I've said in previous videos that I've shown where I upgraded uh, a motherboard's BIOS. And I want to make sure that those are followed. The first thing to follow is since there's so many parts to them these days, don't give up on it. Once you start doing the upgrade, just because the lights keep changing states on it or the, the numbers on the motherboard, if you have one of those that supports the little uh, seven digit uh, displays, whatever, it could take you a good, I don't know, 10 to 12 minutes easily to update a motherboard today. So wait until you get the screen that pops up on your computer screen that says now hit F1 in order to go into the BIOS. Until you see that screen, it's gonna be doing a lot of things along the way. So unless you did something like tweaked with some of the other uh, adjustments along the way, you probably won't see it freeze up on you where you'd have to clear the BIOS or clear the CMOS that the BIOS depends on. Uh, but that is possible. So if it gets past about 15, 20 minutes, you may have to do the clear CMOS anyway, and uh, then try it again. But the whole idea here is that uh, you can't give up on the upgrade. If you do, uh, you could, what they call, brick your motherboard. Now, most of the higher-end motherboards now have the ability to have a brick-free type environment to them, which means that even if the BIOS is completely dead, you can still overwrite it. They have special hardware they've added to the motherboard that allows you to do it even if the CPU is not functional, the BIOS is completely hacked. But Rather not do that if you can, because uh, there is a chance that that could fail. I understand it's a pretty high percentage of how often it will work, up in the 98, 99% of the time, but you never know. You could be that little one, one and a half percent that uh, winds up with a brick motherboard that you have to RMA separately. Hopefully you're within warranty. So 
Let's do it with the system up and running. Let's go into the BIOS and we'll do it through the menu system to update the BIOS. Now, as you may realize from a previous video, this is an ASUS motherboard, as I've said multiple times already. It happens to be one of their higher end ones for Creator. And so I'll walk through the steps and uh, we'll make sure we do it right. Just keep in mind about the first warning and a second warning. The second warning is you should always have a UPS unit connected to a system you're going to upgrade the BIOS. That way it won't die or lose power along the way and then you wind up having to start with a bricked motherboard or maybe not start with it. So try to make sure you get a UPS. I have an outlet here on my studio workbench that is connected directly to the UPS that my streaming computer is also connected to. It's a high enough power one that it can support both of these environments. And uh, that way it can be assured that when I do the upgrade, that won't be a factor of me losing power along the way. So the two warnings, just to reiterate them, don't give up on it. Give it uh, at least 10, maybe 15 minutes before you real start to think that maybe it froze up on you. Also, connect up to a UPS any way you can. Um, you should always have one of those anyway, but maybe you want to get one just to be safe on this case. It doesn't have to be a super big one because the system shouldn't be under any heavy load at that point. So let's get started, okay? Okay, the first thing we want to do is go and get the latest BIOS. In this case from ASUS because of my, the motherboard that I have. So let me open up a browser, go to the ASUS site and pick that up. Once here for ASUS, I go to support and then on the drop down menu here, you see all the product categories listed. Let's pick motherboards, the product series. In my case, it's the ASUS ProArt right there, ProArt. And then the particular model I have is the latest one that they've released, the Pro, ProArt Z790 Creator Wi-Fi. And so that's my motherboard. I will then go into uh, drivers and utility over in the right here. And then I will click on the BIOS and firmware. And here we have a new version of the BIOS firmware that was released on July 12th, 2024. My motherboard does not have that one. So I'll come into here and click download. It has completed its download to my PC. I will then, I like to open up the folder here and then I like to extract it. So I right click on it and I say extract all. And now I have two files here. One is the uh, BIOS renamer. We don't need that because I'm not, I'm not using the, uh, the BIOS function that allows me to load it to a system with a bad firmware. I only need this one. So I'll copy this to a USB stick and then I will load the USB stick onto the PC. Now it's the same motherboard, so I'll just leave it connected after I transfer it. So I'll jump ahead on that, okay? So it's a ProArt Z790 Creator Wi-Fi ASUS-2402. That's the version there down at the bottom, 24. Okay, so now we have it. So let me um, get out of this. Don't need all of this. I can save it it's on a USB stick. As a matter of fact, if I take a look at the USB stick, you will see that I have a USB stick here that now has it on it. The ProRoute Z790 Creator Wi-Fi ASUS 2402. That's the file we want to upload to the BIOS. So I'll close that and then I will shut down the PC and boot up into the BIOS. Power shutdown. Okay, now it's shut down. So I'll power back on again. And then once I see the thing, I'll start hitting delete. Actually, I'm listening for a sound, which is my, there we go. Now I hit delete because I have the little speaker connected to the motherboard. So I like to hear that beep. And there we are. As you can see, the current version is 2302 BIOS version. We're going to overwrite that. I need to go into the utility. So I'll go into advanced mode down on the right here, F7, and then I'll go into tool and then I'll go into BIOS ASUS Easy Flash 3 Utility. And the one I want should be a, right there, the last one, FS4, because it's an 8 gig. And there it is, ProRart Z790 Creator Wi-Fi ASUS 2402. I clicked on that. It says, warns me to back it up. My BitLocker, I don't use BitLocker on this. That's usually used for laptops, but some people use it for desktops, depending on their environment. I will say, yes. Do you want to read this file? Yes. Do I really want to update the BIOS to 2402? Yes. And now it's updating. Probably zoom ahead on this once it's kicked off and then jump right to the end because it could take several minutes to do this. It's clearing the database. Right there in the bottom, it says processing. It tells you what it's doing. And then it starts filling in the completion bar here. I believe it goes orange normally. There we go. So now I'll just zoom ahead and jump right to the end of it, okay?
Okay, it's completed the update. Of course, as I said before, I had this thing plugged into a, U a UPS. It automatically booted. I didn't have to touch anything. It just sort of timed out there. When it comes up again, we'll go back into the BIOS and we'll see what we get. And in about a month or so, when uh, Asus releases a new one, I will go ahead and uh, take advantage and load that one down as well. Now I could have gone ahead and did a performance benchmark before I did this upgrade and then again afterwards. But quite honestly, I didn't want to take the chance that I would uh, overstress the CPU in a vulnerable state. Here it comes, it's almost up there. I'm watching the lights on the motherboard. There we go, as I heard the beep, I hit the delete. Here we go, hit the delete. I notice it did an upgrade which requires it to completely reset everything. So it's telling you to go ahead and uh, hit F1 to go into the BIOS. And if you've made any changes to it, just to make sure those changes are all cleared out, which I didn't do, I didn't modify any of the parameters on this one, to hit F5. But I'll show you the F5 just in case, just to make sure. So let me hit F1 first. And now you can see the version of my BIOS. It is 2402 over here in the corner. And I will go ahead and hit F5, or I could just click on this little button down here in the lower right-hand corner, and it'll load the defaults. Prompts me first before it says so. I say OK. And now I will do Save and Exit F10. Just click on this little button, does the same thing. All it did there was it disabled something called PTT. So I guess that got enabled automatically by me running it originally. So it's a good thing I cleared it. Click on this and it's rebooting. And I'll go back into the BIOS again, just to be sure that it comes up okay in the BIOS. Looking at my little lights, it's currently got the amber one lit. And it goes red, amber, white, green, and then off completely. That's the way I believe those four lights work on that. It's on amber right now. This is one where it makes sure that the memory is, is good and it's got the right timing to it. So this one takes the longest, the amber one. Now it went off, it went white, red, red again, off. It went white. Now it beeped. Somehow I can go into the BIOS. So it took a few extra rounds to size things up on this BIOS. Okay, I should go back in again. And there we go. So we're up and running with the 2402. And uh, now what I'll do is I'll do save and exit and go back into Windows. Didn't make any changes this time. When I did the F5, it must have cleared out the memory uh, sizing as well. That's what took so long. Not going to the BIOS this time, even though I just heard the beep. And now it's going into Windows finally. So this new BIOS did a lot of uh, resizing, it looks like. Okay, let's go in and make sure it comes up okay. We still have the USB stick in there. It's okay, I'll take that out soon. And we should be good. So that completes it. If you happen to have a 14900K, I would probably recommend that you go and uh, go to your motherboard manufacturer's website and take their latest BIOS down and update it carefully, as I said. Making sure you understand the things I said, the two key points, don't give up on it. Give it about 15 minutes if it takes that long. And also connect the UPS, just as a reminder once again. And then you should be good. Be on the lookout for the latest update from the same motherboard manufacturer at some point. Uh, I understand sometime by the end of August, they should all be done. But you never know, one of the motherboard manufacturers might be delayed on that. So you have to just keep checking every couple of weeks or so. And as soon as that next one comes out, you would then update the BIOS again. And this time you should gain back probably most of your performance not all of it i don't think that's just my guess but uh, you should gain back some of it because we've uh, downgraded at this point uh, a pretty hefty amount just to make sure we don't cause uh, cpu chip degradation where the silicon starts uh, getting damaged by the excessive voltage and excessive heat so until next time take care and thanks for watching